Hey everyone, today I am very excited because we have our first recipe request by Mark who's totally not my former classmate by the way and he is asking for Chinese pancakes and oh boy have you opened Pandora's box there are so many different varieties of Chinese pancakes so today I'm making my personal favorite which is called Jianbing Guozi the original is from the city of Tianjin next to Beijing but you will find this everywhere in China it's savory it's fresh it's delicious and it has a very unique flavor and texture profile that you don't find a lot. When I lived in Shanghai, this used to be one of my absolute breakfast favorites. I mean, there would be weeks where I would have this every day. So I spent a long, long time researching and failed many, many times just to come up with a recipe that is easy and quick to replicate at home. And today I'm sharing it with you, Mark. So, my name is Andung and this is my recipe for Jianbing Guozi, the ultimate savory Chinese breakfast pancake. Just real quick before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm sharing my favorite Chinese recipes and so much more. Okay, now let's start with jianbing. Now one of the things that makes this dish so classic is the crispy filling. It's called cuibing and it looks like this. And now you're probably wondering where the f*** do I get cuibing outside of China? Well, fair question. I mean, you could make them from scratch, which is delicious, but a pain in the butt. I'm gonna link to my favorite recipe if you wanna try and go the extra mile, but bear with me, there is a workaround and it's a lifesaver. And the secret is frozen wonton wrappers. If you can, try to find the type that says for deep fry. Let them thaw for around 45 minutes and you're good to go. Drop them in some blazing hot oil one by one and fry on both sides. It's only gonna take you seconds. And there you have Cuibing, your perfect Jianbing crackers. Now I imagine you probably don't wanna start deep frying things every time you want a Chinese pancake. Well, good news for you. Just place your crackers in a Ziploc bag and they will keep in your freezer for a really long time. This is actually just the first of three tips I have for you to make your Jianbing experience almost instant after some initial prep. So stick around to the end of the video to learn the other two. Okay, now let's work on our batter. So traditional Jianbing batter is a mix of different grains that are kind of hard to get outside of China. So I simplified it down to two ingredients. And that's regular all-purpose flour and mung bean flour. Unfortunately for Jianbing, you can't really skip the mung bean flour. You can try finding it at your local Asian grocery store or you can buy it online. So mix your two flours together. Add a pinch of salt and some five spice powder. That's optional. Now add some water and a little bit of oil and mix and your batter is ready but before we start frying our pancake there is one last thing we have to prep which is the sauce again there are like hundreds of varieties on this it's like a whole science but here is my shortcut as your base you can use regular hoisin sauce add a little bit of fermented bean paste called doubanjiang an optional but highly recommended addition would be tofu ru which is fermented tofu and a little bit of sugar now we're all set, so let's go and make some jianbing. Grab the biggest frying pan you've got and turn the heat to high. Sorry, mine's a little vintage. Brush with a very, very thin layer of oil. I'm using a paper towel for that. Okay, now don't wait until your pan is super hot. Instead, spread out a ladle around half a cup of batter while your frying pan is still only slightly warm. Don't worry if it's not perfect, you can even add a little extra batter if needed, but act fast. So traditionally, on the streets, people would use a jambing spreader. I know it's very satisfying to watch, but it's actually kind of hard to replicate. You kind of have to know what you're doing if you don't want to ruin your jambing, and I assume you don't have all the professional jambing making equipment lying around at home anyway. So let's go with the easy method. When you can see the surface firm up, Crack an egg on top and spread in a circular motion. Okay, now comes the tricky part, which might require some finesse and practice. By now, you should be seeing some air bubbles forming under your jambing. That means it's close to being cooked through. With a spatula, carefully check and loosen the edges of your pancake. Once loose and ready to turn, sprinkle with some cilantro and spring onions. Now flip. That was the hard part and now comes the fun. Spread some sauce on your pancake, not too much. 
Sprinkle with some finely chopped Chinese pickles. You can find Chinese pickles at your local Asian supermarket. They come in many different varieties and they are very, very cheap. My favorite for jamming is mustard root, which is also sometimes called mustard stem. Okay, now add your Tsui Bing crackers and make sure to break them up for flexibility. Fold your pancakes from both sides. If you're having trouble, try rolling it up, that's fine too. Now cut in half, stack and serve your fragrant steaming hot jambi. It's soft and eggy on the outside and savory and crispy on the inside and you don't get that texture combo every day. Okay, remember I promised you some tips to speed up your jambing making? So aside from freezing your crispy tsuibing, I actually recommend making a little jar of jambing sauce in advance that'll keep in the fridge for a couple of weeks. You can also store your batter in the fridge only for a couple of days though, but that means you could make the batter the night before. But what you can also do is to pre-mix your dry ingredients and to keep them in a jar. All you will have to do is to add some water and a dash of oil. All right guys, if you like this recipe and if you are hungry for more, more, make sure to go over to my channel and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys, I'm gonna go and have some jambing now and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!